All right, so um, guys, once we get the first couple layers on, one of the things that we need to do to your project is we need to give the, um, the seam between the base and our first layer a little bit more support because that's where all the weight of your project's going to be resting, okay? And that's going to be there on the inside. A lot of you guys that I've talked to have been asking, how do I deal with that seam? And I keep telling you, I have a step for that. This is that step, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this extra clay, okay? And this is, I'm gonna show you a traditional way of making a coil. And basically what you do is you just kind of roll it out from the center and you kind of pull the clay to the outside. I am terrible at making traditional coils. Um, when I did this, when I took ceramics in college, um, basically what I did when I had to make use coils is I would just make short slaps um, because my coils were too inconsistent so find a way so you're just gonna roll this out if it breaks don't worry about it as far as how thick um, you don't want it to be really thick you want it to be pretty thin like this I uh, like a little spaghetti okay made everybody hungry. All right, so what I'm gonna do, got Jonathan's project here, okay? I'm gonna take this knife and I am going to score right here on top of the, th of the seam. And I'm gonna score this and then I will show you what it looks like after I'm done. So I'm doing it just right here inside the corner. Okay, see? So I did it right there in the corner. So I got the wall and the base. You guys see that? Okay. I am not gonna score this. Reason why is because it's thin enough. I don't really need to. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of water. Jonathan, Jonathan's project um, isn't really dry, so um, I don't need to add a lot of water. And then I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it right in here in the corner and after I get it in here, I'll show you what it looks like. And again, if it breaks, uh, nothing to worry about. Just pinch it off. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay. See that, and it's got place in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my thumb or my finger, actually my thumb works pretty good, and I'm just going to smush it in that corner. And what that's going to do is just give that corner a little extra support. And I'm not going to worry too much about this being perfectly smoothed out, unless of course you have a design that's gonna show a lot of the inside. So if you have like a lip that you're cutting that's real deep and long, um, goes quite the length of the piece, then you're gonna see probably more of the inside. Okay, but for a lot of you guys, you might not see even the bottom of your pro the inside of your project, so. All I did, I didn't really blend, I just smushed it in there with my thumb. Okay, you see that? Okay, so that's what I need everybody to do. There you go.